Springfield Armory Emissary. First shot. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release from Springfield Armory called the Emissary. It's a 1911 that is a beautiful looking 1911, but what it has are modern features. We're going to talk about that. Check out that G10 grip. They're very thin and the mainspring housing has a texturing there that mimics the same feel as the G10 grips. Same with the front strap. So when you grip this, it just feels real firm. A very nice ergonomic feel to it. Gray frame, forged steel, glossy blued slide. See how glossy it is? I'm picking up my, my camera lights there. But on top, it is matte black. So it'll cut down on the glare. It does have some serrations there to cut down on the glare. You can see the rear serrations there, deep cut, as well as forward serrations on top of the slide for those press checks right there. It does come with two eight-round magazines, a rail, a pick rail there, and a sight system that is very familiar to me, those who have the Hellcat. It's a very familiar sight system. You see that U right there? It does have the ledge there to charge off a boot or a table if you need to and a tritium front dot with a luminescent surround. So you're, you're getting a nice bright sight picture. And the reason I said it's a familiar sight picture is because they offer the same one on the Hellcat. And I really like it. I, I settled into it right away at the range right out of the case. You just put that tritium front dot in that half circle and it's pretty dead nuts right out of the case. Just love it. Made the 45 feel like nothing. It's also on the XDM Elite models. All right, so they're using that same sight picture, and I, I, I like it. It, it just, it just worked for me immediately. Let's check out that trigger. We already showed clear. They came out with a flat face trigger. I'm measuring right at four and a half pounds, and that's what we're looking at. This is why. People love 1911s. Check this out. Right there. A very smooth shooter. And if you look at some of the ejections, it just fired out there to the right with a very nice ejection pattern. It does have the thumb safety on the left side of the pistol, not on the right side of the pistol. But the MSRP on this is $12.79, and if you go with the emissary, you'll get two eight-round magazines, a soft case, along with the paperwork and the case and everything else. And right here, this is a little pin. I'm going to show this because if we look at the business end of this, we'll see that it has a bull barrel with a recessed crown, but it is bushingless, so the disassemble is a little bit different. I just fell in love with it the first time I took it out, and it just shot so nice. So let's roll through some of that footage. We'll come back and talk more about this new 1911. Eight rounds, 230 grain, self-defense loads. Let's take a look at some of the modern features that the Emissary offers and we're going to compare it with the Para USA Expert. Initially, you can see that the Emissary is two-tone. It's got that glossy slide there. Take a look at the grips. We've got rubber on the left with the Para, G10 with the Emissary. Looking at the mainspring housing, already showed that texturing that is very nice serrated vertical lines and then the front strap we can see that same texturing with the emissary on the right no texturing on the para there it does have a pick rail for any accessories to be added 
does not offer that there. We take a look at the trigger, a flat face trigger versus a trigger very common on 1911s. Okay, Springfield stepped away with that flat face trigger. We look at the serrations on top, forward serrations, and then the rear serrations. Okay, deep cut with the emissary in the back there. And then the sights. We can see, you know, the U dot, tritium front dot, and here we've got a fiber optic front sight. But I tell you, I do so well with this sight picture that it, it just makes shooting enjoyable at the range. I mentioned that uh, this assembles a bit different, okay, bushingless bull barrel. So let's go ahead and show how that works. We'll start with the slide lock back. You can see that the emissary uses a full length guide rod and in that guide rod there is a little hole right there. See that hole? And it comes with this pin. Now if you happen to lose the pin you can form fit a paper clip in there but you want to put the pin, the tip of the pin in like that so that that is looking just like that. See the pin? All right, and that will compress the spring, which will give the slide, well, once I release it, it'll give the slide more access to move real easily. I'll take the pin and just push it through and remove the pin, and then just take the slide off of the frame. And there you have it. Now we're going to move the barrel all the way back, push the link down so I can remove the recoil spring and full length guide rod and then just push that barrel forward and there it is completely disassembled there's a look at the frame and the upper now I was shooting this so I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and we'll put it back together we'll go ahead and reinsert the barrel and then take the compressed recoil spring and guide rod place it in there should fit nice and snug and then we'll put the slide back onto the frame of course we'll look for that link and there it is once we do we'll put the slide stop pin in there and we're going to avoid the dummy scratch once again easy to move the slide because that Spring is compressed and then we're going to avoid the dummy scratch by moving this upward and just like that that pin is inserted you can see all the way through and then at this point we'll make sure that the slide is all the way locked back and then we'll remove that pin just like that the emissary disassembled and reassembled. So there it is, Springfield Armory Emissary, offering the modern features that shooters love while keeping the long-standing and outstanding mechanics of a 1911 that so many people love. The accuracy is amazing, the overall feel, fit and function is great, and I think this one is going to do very well for Springfield Armory. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.